So I invited a small group of scientists back from the United States with measuring equipment to test if DJ was for real. And if so, where might this energy belong on the electromagnetic spectrum? Catherine Cook, CEO of the Mind Science Foundation in Texas. Dr. Roger Nilsson, a Swedish medic and international racing sailor. Dr. Greg Simpson, a physicist from New York's Albert Einstein University. The visitors are confident they'll uncover him as a fraud in no time. Greg is the first guinea pig, and he's uncomfortable about showing that he can feel anything at all. Dr. Roger doesn't know what to expect. <laughs> Out comes the metal detector, like the things they use in airports to see if he has any concealed metal in his body. Then the voltmeter to try and measure the chi. It's one, two, oh, I feel it in my whole body. I feel it, it's three, oh, point three, I feel it in my legs, shit. I'm, I'm. <laughs> but suspecting there's some tricky setup on his premises they can't find, they insist we all go to a randomly chosen hotel room several miles away to see if he can light a light bulb with his fingers. It doesn't ground on the wall. So Greg holds and grounds one wire, while DJ pumps chi through the other. The bulbs are LEDs, light-emitting diodes, which ignite in different colors according to the intensity of current. Yes. On, off, on. Brilliant. Oh, you're blinking.